There are a lot of stories out there of people seeing what they describe as either a Mothman or an Owlman. And these sightings seem to always happen in clusters. I have covered a lot of them, but one case I've yet to cover is the Birdman of the Rio Grande. One of the first sightings happened in 1976 when 11 year old Tracy was playing in her backyard with her 14 year old cousin Jackie. And while the girls were playing, they spotted something strange looking in an irrigation canal that was about 75 to 100 yards away. So the girls went to go grab some binoculars to get a closer look. And they claimed that they saw a horrible looking giant bird that was about 5 feet tall, had a face like a gorilla, and enormous red eyes. And this thing was staring directly at them. Then it let out a terrifying shriek and flew back behind the tree line. Now because these two girls were fairly young, their parents didn't believe them. But the next day Jackie's stepfather did stumble upon some three-toed tracks that were about 8 inches across in the area where the girls claimed that they saw this creature. The next sighting happened a week later when two police officers reported that they saw a huge humanoid bird-like creature that had a 12 to 15 foot wingspan, glowing red eyes, and was about 5 foot tall. Exactly what the young girl said that they saw. Then later that day another eyewitness told a local newspaper that he saw a creature that had huge eyes, bat-like wings, and a long thin beak. He stated, I was scared. It had wings like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. The animal that I saw was not from this world. Then on January 15th, just about two weeks after the first sighting, a man named Armando was having a cigarette outside when he heard a flapping sound above him. And when he looked up, he saw a huge man bird like creature with a simian face and this creature attacked him. And the neighbors, well, they heard his screams so they ran over there as fast as they could to see if he was okay. And they saw that his clothes were shredded and he was bleeding. Then just a couple of days later another man claimed that he had been attacked by some sort of giant bird. And doctors confirmed that he did sustain deep scratches most likely caused by some sort of wild animal. One of the most famous cases happened when two brothers were driving on a rural road in the Rio Grande Valley when they saw a bat winged humanoid standing right in the middle of the road forcing them to slam on the brakes. And they were just so scared by what they were looking at that they immediately put the car in reverse and started to back up. And this creature lunged forward as if it was about to attack, but then it just flew away. Another case during this time period happened when a father and son went out hunting. And this creature came down from the sky and tried to pick up the father. So the son, scared for his father's life, started to shoot at it. And luckily, the father was able to escape. There were also tons of reports of pets disappearing and even cattle mutilations. And once the newspaper started writing about all these sightings and attacks, people were afraid to leave their houses. There were even large rewards offered to anyone who could capture or kill this beast. So hunters came to the Rio Grande in droves. And this made a lot of people nervous and angry as if this birdman did exist, then it would most likely be an endangered species. Now there were many sightings of this creature. And just like with most other monster sightings throughout the world, one day the sightings just stopped coming in. Well at least for a couple of years as there have been sightings, but nothing like what happened in 1971. Another documented and just creepy case happened in 1977 when a woman saw a gigantic bird sitting in a tree outside her house. She stated that it had black eyes and had the face of an old woman. And when she made eye contact with it, it started to fly towards her. So this woman scared to death ran inside and called the police. And when the cops got there, they saw deep scratches on her door. And she did say that whatever this was, was trying to break into her house. And later that day, the police found a few dogs that had been just ripped to shreds not too far away from this woman's house. Now these sightings are very similar, but there is a huge variation in the description of the face. Some say it looked like a gorilla, some say it looked like a wolf, and some say that it had a beak. One of these eyewitnesses said, you have to look close because his beak is very transparent. If you see it real fast, you're going to think he ain't got no beak. I've never seen a bird that big. He was brownish like dirt. He does not have long legs and does not stand like other birds. There's also a legendary creature in Mexico known as the witch owl. And this creature's description is not the same as what people claim to see in Texas in 1971, but it is exactly the same as what the woman saw in 1976, as the witch owl is said to have the face of an old woman. And these sightings in Mexico go back for hundreds of years. According to the articles I read, the witch owl was once a woman who sold her soul to the devil, or it was a woman who had been wronged in the past and is now seeking revenge. Whatever the case may be, there are a heck of a lot of sightings of this creature. 
One sighting happened when a man and his friend were driving down a dirt road in Mexico when they claimed that this creature started to follow them and these two men were just scared to death. At one point, it hit the truck's windshield then bounced back onto the road and the driver ran it over then backed up and ran over it again believing that this would be enough to kill the witch owl. But as they were driving away, they saw in the rearview mirror that it was not dead, it flew away. And according to the passenger, his friend the driver died at the wheel by heart attack just a minute or so later. There was also a mass sighting in a small town in Mexico in the 1950s. People reported seeing this creature all around town and they were scared. So one day the townsfolk gathered together to come up with a plan to try to kill it. And one day someone spotted it in a nearby tree. So they used the child as bait and when this creature saw the child, it flew towards him as if it was going to attack. But before it could get close enough, several men came out of hiding and they shot it. But it didn't die, it just flew away. Then the next day they saw an old woman who appeared to be very badly injured. And they suspected that this old woman was in fact the witch owl. And after her death, they never saw this creature ever again. Another case that went viral a couple of years ago involved a police officer in Mexico. One night this officer Leonardo was driving his patrol car when he saw a large black object fall from a tree. But it didn't hit the ground. It appeared to him that this, whatever it was, was levitating. So he turned on his high beams to get a better look and he saw that this was not a bird but a human. And he was struck with fear. He could not believe what he was seeing. He stated that this woman had large black eyes, was dressed in all black and was also wearing a cloak, looking just like a witch. And a couple of seconds later, this witch jumped onto the hood of his patrol car and just started to go crazy. So Leonardo, scared for his life, put the car in reverse and just floored it. And about 10 minutes later, he was found sitting in his patrol car, passed out. Now after this sighting, a lot of people came forward claiming that they too had seen this witch or a flying humanoid, which I have covered in the past and it does make me wonder if these sightings are in any way connected to the legendary witch owl. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.